Yeah, the respect one is really interesting because it is very blurry. Yeah. I could I feel very often that I'm disrespecting somebody by behaving differently than I normally yeah. might. So I know, and that's so I told you about what happened a, just a week ago or so when I was walking home, I was right down the street and I walked by a young guy and I walked there was a flower bed and I decided to walk into the street instead of walking right next to him you know the flower bed makes it so there's only like half the sidewalk so you have to walk shoulder to shoulder and because of the, what we're being told oh also this guy wasn't wearing a mask whatever I didn't care that he wasn't wearing a mask personally I didn't feel afraid but I felt okay I like to follow the rules if I can to some degree if I think that they're useful <laughs> and I decided to walk into the street and it seemed like in my mind I was totally doing it to be respectful of this person who I just kind of assumed oh he's going down this maybe he lives right here he's probably just going for a walk around the block I'm on, probably on his block and that's why he's not wearing the mask and I am wearing the mask because I was on a longer walk and I'll just go into the street and it's no big deal for me mm -hmm. and I even looked over and tried to smile at him but all that was showing were the corners of my eyes. So <laughs> he didn't look over my way. And then I heard him mutter under his breath that he was clearly upset about what had happened. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I handled it well because then I just kind of muttered under my breath something back at him. And then he muttered back and like, <laughs> it wasn't good. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. And later I realized I should have. Bunch of tough mutters. Stopped. <laughs> yeah. But I realized later, I probably the move would have been to still do what I did as far as walking in the street. I don't think that was bad, but I think when I realized it had offended him, I should have just stopped and said, hey, I'm really sorry if that offended you. It had nothing to do with you, and I, I really hope you have a good day or something. I could have just said something nice. Yeah, that would, have taken, of, that would have taken a lot of awareness. Something it would that would have. be beyond most people. Sure, yes. But now that I've had that experience, I've thought about it a lot, and I've thought I've kind of, now I'm not only <laughs> bracing myself for making sure that I'm on the right part of the sidewalk, but also ready for someone to be offended and for me to be, like, nice and let go of something that I've, part one part of the guard and you know take replace it with some other thing and it's very complicated to navigate around when you're thinking about all those things yeah but <laughs>